Hi, I'm working on day 16 on building the smart wood shop. And uh, I finished 15 just a little while ago. And as I was getting 16 started, and I want to take a little break and thought I would do another quick tip on video editing multicam. Now I shoot um, a lot of my videos. I use two or more cameras. So this is how it works. Here's a little bonus tip. If you look at the different panels, when I click on them, they get a blue line around them. Whichever one has the blue line around it, if you hit the tilde key, that's the little squiggly guy right below the escape key on your keyboard. That'll make that, whichever panel you're in, fill the screen. I have this V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. I have converted these already to multicam view, and I'll show you what that means in a minute. The process is simple. Choose the video that you want to have the audio from, and then shift click on the second one, right click, create multicam, title it. Again, I title mine by the number, so this is video one, so I hit V1, and I have camera one as the audio I'm going to use, and I have this box checked here, move source clips to the process clip spin, just for organization purposes. And I'll click OK. And now I have a V1, and you see that the video one main and video one B-roll are gone. They are now in this process um, clips, and it keeps them organized. And so when I'm all done, I will just have V1 through V15. And what this means, I'm going to hit the tilde key again, and that takes me back to my editing screen. So now, if I want to start editing and I have V1 through V15, I drag them to my timeline. Two camera views, the one with the yellow box around it is the one in the main view. This is what I'm actually using for the finished video. So now this one I haven't done any editing on yet, so I would just watch both videos as it goes through. I see, okay, I want to switch for whatever reason. I'm not going to keep these edits. This is just for demonstration purposes. I'll just click, and now I've switched camera views. And then I decide I want to go back. I click again. And again. And so then when I've done that, if you look at my timeline down here, you can see that I have these lines. And if I play this back and you watch the main screen, in fact, I'll turn off the multi view. So this is what the finished video would look like. And so it gives you the, the ability to jump from your two cameras or three cameras or how many other cameras, keeping the audio from your main camera. So it's a very simple, fast way to put things together rather than trying to manually sync things up, which I've done for years. Saves a tremendous amount of time. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.